It's been a bloody 24 hours in Clarendon with three persons killed in two separate incidents in the parish. And as you'll hear in this report, in one of the attacks, two persons were killed in their three young children's view. A brutal gun attack took place inside this house minutes after 11 Tuesday night when gunmen killed two parents in front of their 10, 5 and 4-year-old children. The dead persons are Ash Latha Coleman, a hairdresser, and Delroy Bailey, a chef. They sustained multiple gunshot wounds to their upper body. Their children were not physically harmed. A relative of Mr. Bailey is heartbroken. She said he only focused on his cooking business. We can't even explain, you know, sir. Because I try to do like twin, you know. Can't even explain, me brother lose. And love everybody. And give everybody everything. I don't go boast, talk, or nothing like me. Just a talk you out of my mouth, like, say, my brother is a bad man, and he's not a bad man. He's not a bad man. He cook him pot, he love cook for people. And the catering on him, then call. It is believed the attack on the couple stemmed from another recent shooting incident in the area. Superintendent Christopher Phillips, who is in charge of operations for the Clarendon Police, was on the scene in Raymond's Hayes Wednesday morning. He said the area has been seeing an increase in gang activity. The police team, they were in this area like minutes before this happened and were able to respond quickly. Uh, notwithstanding, we ended up with a double murder. Um, we are basically doing our assessment. Our suspicion so far is that is a continuation of the tick for tat between two rival gangs within the area. We will continue to do the assessment though, but we will have to increase our presence within this space. And police investigators were summoned to another scene where a male resident was shot and killed. The dead man is 45-year-old Marlon McKenzie. He worked as a porter at the Mapen Hospital. Mr. McKenzie was shot and killed shortly after nine at a shop outside his home on Denby Crescent on the outskirts of Maypen. No motive has been established for the killing.